What is up YouTube, JDC Games here, welcome back to Exploring Omori Mysteries. So today's mystery has to do with Sunny, so we know Sunny has the whole three fears, right? The drowning, spiders, and heights, alright? He has those, those three fears. But what if he has a hidden secret fourth fear that is not, I guess, represented in the game through a little something monster? Our first piece of evidence is the fact that Sunny really hates being alone. Like, we, we see it, I think, mentioned several th times throughout the game. And Sunny just does not like being alone. Even Kel, when he went into Sunny's house, he said that Sunny used to not like sleeping alone a lot. And when he was younger, he picked up the violin because he wanted to spend more time with Marie because she was all busy and everything. So he wanted to spend more time with Marie. So he picked up the violin so he could spend time with her. And then when he did pick up the violin and he started playing it a lot, he started hating it because he had to spend less time with his friends. Which will probably make him lonely. <laughs> but I mean I guess he has his tutor, but <laughs> I don't know if he would I don't know if he liked his tutor that much, but anyway. There's a lot of evidence showing that Sunny just hated being alone. But hating being alone does not equal being afraid of being alone. Which brings us to our second piece of evidence, which is that Sunny's other fears only pop up when Sunny is alone. Like his fears pop up a lot throughout the game, like both in Headspace and in real world. But most of the time in Headspace, most of the time it's only when he's alone. And in the real world it only pops up when he's alone. I mean his fear of heights pops up when he's alone. His fear of spiders also pops up when he's alone. And his fear of drowning also pops up when he's alone. I mean I guess there was, you know, Aubrey and Basil and Kel there. I mean, Basil was underwater, but you know, <laughs> there was people there, but I guess he felt alone because he was drowning. So, <laughs> um, they pop up when he's alone for the most part, <laughs> I guess. So this could mean several things. Like number one, it could mean he's just afraid of loneliness, right? Which makes his other fears appear or, you know, be appear stronger than they usually are. Or number two, that all of his other fears pretty much originate from his fear of loneliness which might have been caused by you know Murray's death and all of his friends leaving him at that period of time or it could just be a combination of both of them adding on to this Sonny seems to be a lot calmer when he's around with his friends like his fears don't even pop up when he's around with them and actually he seems to be able to overcome his fears when his friends are around him like pretty much all of his fears he overcomes in headspace when he's around someone and in the real world, he overcomes his fear of drowning when he's with Kelwin. I mean, Aubrey's there, but she's kind of like arguing with them at the moment. So I don't know if she was <laughs> of much support. But, you know, Sunny seems to be able to overcome his fears with his friends. And he's actually a lot calmer with them. And his fears don't pop up when he's with them. Anyway, we can see that loneliness either amplifies Sunny's fears or be the whole cause of them. Either way... There's one last thing I want to add to this whole theory. So my final evidence that I want to add to this whole thing is that Headspace was created to help Sunny with his loneliness. Now I'm not going to say that it was only created specifically for his loneliness because clearly that's not true. But it's definitely one of the main reasons that the whole Headspace thing happened. I mean just think about Headspace for a second. like. Headspace is full of all of Sonny's best friends and people that are around him in his life, right? And a whole bunch of other characters that are inspired by things he saw or pretty much things he saw in the real world, right? Like people he saw or things he saw, whatever. But it's all pretty much based on his whole real life. And it's like all like all colorful, all happy, all perfect. And it's like supposed to pretty much always appeal to Sonny. So clearly this is like meant to at least help him with his loneliness which i guess it would do but at the end of the day it wouldn't solve it and it would probably after a long time it would make it worse like we saw in the game so one of the reasons headspace was created was definitely to ease sunny's loneliness when marie passed away and all of his friends kind of abandoned him during that time period and maybe like also to help him with his fear of loneliness that he may have in conclusion it is very possible that Sunny has a hidden secret fourth fear that is loneliness I mean there's a lot of evidence pointing towards it like he hates being alone 
all of his fears only pop up when he's alone which can mean like they either amplify it or be the whole cause of him and a big reason Headspace was created was to ease and help him deal with his loneliness when Marie died and everyone kind of abandoned him so there's, it's, there's obviously a lot there that could mean he has this hidden fourth fear that isn't doesn't have any kind of representation in the game so anyway that is pretty much all of the evidence that I have for this theory and yeah it's pretty clear that Sonny might have a hidden fourth fear or maybe he just be, hates being lonely I don't know it's all just it's all just a mystery an Omori mystery I mean does that work that doesn't work that doesn't work either way it's copying game theory <laughs> but anyway this is pretty much the end of the video if you're wondering why I'm wearing a long sleeve it's because it is insanely cold in my house right now because we have no air conditioning but <laughs> anyway that is the end of the video I have nothing else to say why are you still <laughs> okay goodbye <laughs>